With the 54th pick in the 2021 NHL Draft, the Minnesota Wild have selected Jack Peart. I think the next step for him is not only make the players around him better, but at moments in games try to take it over and be the difference maker in the game. And I, and I see that confidence level in him now, and, and I see a kid that's pushing to get to that level. So Jack, I've been wanting to interview you for a while. World Juniors was just an excuse to get you back in the locker room. I see that you were nice enough to bring your jersey here to show off. <laughs> wow, I have to try it on. Can for I? Sure. So all I need now is a bronze medal, right? Yeah. How does it look? Looks good. Yeah, fits like 90% of my yeah, jerseys too. Yeah, a little too. big, <laughs> a little big. So let's talk World Juniors. What was this experience like for you? The atmosphere, the team, the international competition? To, to play with some of the best players in the world, it's, it's a really fun experience. And to get to play for your country, um, it's nothing you can get back. So no, I, I really enjoyed it, even though we were the enemies there with 11,000 Canadian fans screaming at us the whole game. Uh, that, was, that was fun. Born and raised in Minnesota, playing college hockey here at St. Cloud State, and drafted by the Minnesota Wild. That is like every Minnesota kid's dream. You're taking Mr. Minnesota to the next level. Let's talk draft night. So it was 2021, you were a second round draft pick by the Minnesota Wild. Take me back to that night. That day went by super fast. It was it was crazy. Um, yeah, me and my family were we were out in Michigan um, at the USA camp, and yeah, we were watching the TV, watching the draft, and all of a sudden we see my name pop up on the board, and um, my phone starts ringing off the hook with agent, um, the Wild, and all all my friends and family calling me to congratulate me. But yeah, that was such a cool experience, and. Um, to share it with my family was um, even more special. So circling back to Mr. Minnesota, one of your many accomplishments thus far in your career, how would you say you felt when you received such a prestigious award at such a young age? You know, I, I know most of the guys that I was up against um, for that award, and um, I feel like any one of them deserved the award, but I was lucky enough to get it, so that was really cool. And um, my high school coaches were there that night, so um, it was cool to, to get to share that uh, moment with them. They helped me so much in, in that process and um, even my Grand Rapids teammates. I mean, you can't win an award without, without your team um, supporting you 100%. So as you're aware, Matt Collin just retired his number nine jersey. In terms of inspiration, was this inspiring to you? Uh, for sure. No, he's uh, a Minnesota born and raised just like me. So getting to see his accomplishments and him coming through St. Cloud State. It's really cool and um, something I can learn from a guy who's played 1,500 games in the NHL. So picture this, it's the year 2030. Where's Jack? Hopefully playing in the NHL. Hopefully. Hopefully.